of surgery. And this morning I want to show you a patient that we performed a modified Aiken osteotomy to actually debris a uh, bone infection out of her toe and also to utilize this to take pressure off the plantar aspect of her foot. If you look at her foot now, you can see this is uh, when she came into us, she had an alteration in her toe here that had been present for about six or seven months. And she has some neuropathic issues that caused a lot of pressure on the foot. So to correct this, we performed a percutaneous surgery here where we uh, basically did a flexor tenotomy. And we also went into her foot under the fluoroscopy on the side of her foot through a percutaneous incision here in the, plantar, in the uh, proximal phalanx and performed the uh, procedure uh, like the Aiken osteotomy, but we performed it slightly different where we actually used the burr to denude out the infected osteomyelitis. And this came out as bone paste. So her x-ray now, she has no pain in her foot. This, in the x-ray, there is a little void from where we did the denuding of the, of the infected bone, but there's no movement in the toe, no pain with the toe. Now she gets appropriate dorsiflexion with the toe and the pressure is off. So the toe, the ultra should resolve. So we're able to use the Aiken osteotomy, slightly modified, to not only uh, wedge the bone so that it takes the, the toe up and takes pressure off the plantar aspect, therefore make a long-term correction of the ultra possible. We were also able to denude out the infected bone and take care of that. Of course, we had to use IV antibiotics, which we uh, used fairly extensively to make this close. So now we're at four months, and most likely this ultra will not come back for her.